To perform an automatic calibration of the VMD, we will need the VMD itself, the tablet, and the calibration cell. To begin, ensure that both the VMD and the tablet are plugged in and receiving power, and that the Bluetooth antenna on the tablet is fully connected to the center SMA jack at the top of the tablet. Power on the tablet by pressing the power button in the bottom right hand corner. And the boot sequence will start. Windows will load and then the VMD application will launch. After the application is launched, power on the VMD by pressing the power on button. The warm-up sequence will start after Bluetooth communication has been established. The lamp on the VMD will turn on. And after a system check, we'll have some information on the screen for debug purposes, including the internal temperature of the VMD, and the light and modulator sensor values. Uh, this warm-up will take approximately seven to 10 minutes. Ensure that there is nothing obstructing the light path of the VMD and that there is no debris on the lenses and then manually zero the instrument by pressing the zero key. Place the calibration cell into the light path of the VMD so that the light passes through the cell either against the receiver or the source side of the instrument, and fully tighten down the thumb screw. Then on the tablet, press the calibrate key. A dialog box will appear asking us to place the cell in the path, which we've done. Hit OK, and the calibration process will begin. We'll have a reading in the upper left, and after that is stabilized, the calibration process will be complete, indicated by the ready message. We can now remove the calibration cell. If the calibration process fails, an advanced calibration may need to be done. If this is the case, the user will be prompted to first place the cell in the path, and if that fails, to then proceed to the advanced calibration. So we can acknowledge that we have placed the cell in the path, Calibration will reattempt. And we will then be prompted to proceed to the advanced calibration. We can hit yes. And the screen will proceed to the advanced calibration. And we will have some information on the screen with that same basic debug information for the temperature of the instrument and the light and modulator values. This process will take approximately five to 10 minutes to complete, and then the screen will return to the standard working display. After the screen returns to the working display, the instrument will again wait for a stable reading, and then the calibration will be complete, indicated by the ready message. And we can now remove the cell. To verify the calibration date, from the working display, ensure that a survey is not running, and hit the user setup tab at the top of the screen. At the bottom of this screen will be the last five calibration dates, the status of them, and some other basic troubleshooting information. 
with the most recent GAL version being at the top. This calibration data can be exported using a removable storage device, such as this flash drive we have plugged into the USB port in the front of the tablet. To export the data, we first need to close out of the application by hitting the close key at the top. Calibration data by default is stored in a folder called calibration log on the desktop of the tablet. If we open that folder, we will see all of the calibration data stored on the tablet in XML files separated by the serial number of the instrument. In this case, we only have 1016 for the instrument we just calibrated. If we want to export all the calibration data, we can click on the folder, press and hold to bring up a right click menu, hit send to, in our removable drive. And the calibration data has now been copied. These XML calibration logs can be imported into Sensitz data management software or alternatively into a spreadsheet application such as Microsoft Excel.